Hey guys, CB Super. So I made this meld tool. Really what it is, is it's a tool to blob things. If you're not familiar with blob or melding, it's basically just making it so that you can have two 2D objects that kind of uh, blend together and and if you guys are interested this is totally free uh, it's a really simple tool it does one thing it just blobs things or melds them together if you want on my website over in uh, cbsuper.com all you got to do is come down here to the free tools for motion design and MoGraph it's this tool right here it's called the meld tool if you downloaded this tool previously, uh, I am uploading a new version. It's version two to this tool. Uh, it has some key changes that I'll kind of talk about. I never made a video on uh, the meld tool version one, and that was because I was still kind of testing it. It, was, it wasn't working as well as I had liked, so I went ahead and updated it real quick. And basically all I did is I added in a bitmap. So once you download that, all you have to do is click on that. It'll automatically download to your computer, and then you can, if you're in a PC, you can just paste it here using either one of these two usually works. Or if you're a Mac user, you can just paste it into your user library application support, and then just throw it into your, uh, your macro folder instead of the Fusion folders. So the tool itself is pretty cool. Um, I'll show you how I used it here. Uh, basically, you notice that it looks like it's growing out of this, um, out of this little other line here. All right, so basically you can see um, pretty much it all starts off with just a rectangle line here. And then I also have some text, just obscuring the text here uh, with a um, using a rectangle mask. So it would appear that it grows out of the line. And then I, uh, I throw in a bitmap. Um, the only difference is I actually, this is the old tool right here. You'll notice it had two sliders, one for edge blur, one for meld amount. The new tool, You'll see if I type in CBM for CB meld, you'll be using this version two. The only difference is now it only has a meld amount versus a uh, meld amount and edge blur. Uh, I felt like the edge blur wasn't really necessary and if you wanted to blur it, you could just use an actual blur instead of you know playing around with that edge blur. Really there was never an instance where you didn't want the blur, so it really didn't make too much sense. So inside this um, bitmap, of course, it's just going with the uh, change the channel to alpha as opposed to luminance. I'm using a luminance channel versus the alpha channel. Alpha channel works great when there actually is an alpha, but unfortunately, when there isn't an alpha, it doesn't really make much sense. So pretty much always use a bitmap for me and luminance instead of alpha. After it melds, I just needed to move it up with this transform. I colored it and then I threw an emboss, which gives it that outline, which is pretty cool. And then I just kind of merge it with my own uh, CB background tool. This background right here is actually running, it's running blob outline and squiggly lines together. That's why it looks a little interesting. So that's pretty much it. I'm actually gonna do this and I'm gonna show you how to use it real quick. So let's go ahead and make a new fusion composition and I'm just gonna jump over to fusion, make a similar thing, but probably not near as complex. Not that that was very complex. So let's go ahead and grab some text. I'm also gonna bring in just a rectangle. And you know what, I'm just gonna use this rectangle here like so. And this one's just gonna plug into this background so that I have a black background, but I'm actually gonna change this to white. And then I also have this text over here and I want to merge these together. Now I've merged them together and I can uh, do like a reveal. And the way that this is gonna reveal is I'm just gonna have it so that the rectangle background here, we're gonna go ahead and animate this over time. So the center, I'll go ahead and click this right keyframe here. Maybe I'll move um, to like frame 20 and I'm just gonna move this down. So it's right about there. That way, um, after I blob it up or after I meld it, because it's close enough to where it'll still affect this, um, these two will still kind of meld together. Now that the, the keyframes are already done, I can just type in CBM and yours will only pop up as CB meld version two, unless you have the original CB meld. Go ahead and add that. Okay, as we can see, that's way too much for text. So all we have to do is turn down the meld amount until the text looks you know, something a little similar. One thing about this tool is it will round off any hard corners. There's no way to keep those hard corners and have a meld. And that's just because of what it does is it actually adds a whole lot of blur. And then it clamps down on that blur on the alpha side in order to um, make it have that meld effect. All right, and then if we wanted to color this, uh, we could easily just color, bring in a, say a background. Maybe we'll color this background green. 
Now we have it green. All right, now it's cashed up. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. Yep, so there you see it. It just kind of melds out here. Which is pretty cool. Um, you know what we could also do actually is instead of doing maybe a rectangle, we could bring in the CB liquid tool. This tool actually outputs its own alpha, so this is pretty cool. You'll notice that if we just kind of play this, and we can even adjust the height a little bit if it's a little too high. Maybe the wave height down. And we could even animate this over time. So that's pretty cool. You know, it's just, uh, you know, and you're just using the liquid tool. As you can see, it just kind of, uh, you know, sticks to it real nice. So the tool itself really is simple. All it is is it's three different nodes. As you can see here, it's just a bitmap, a Gaussian blur, and a color gain. And all we did was play with the settings a little bit just to, you know, clamp down on the alpha channel. You know, definitely play around with it. This is just going to be a short video just showing you this tool. If you guys have any questions, you know, please leave it down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.